Brisbane Oz Comic Con and we'd love to show you some awesome cosplayers. <laughs> by Perth Comic Con, which was beginning of August, so oh, wow. just over a month. I also laugh as well as cosplay, which stands for live action role play. So I purposely built this so I can laugh in it. My shield meets all the safety requirements to play. I can <laughs> I can dance in it. It's surprisingly comfortable, so it's quite solid. This is actually a gift from all my friends. It's my oh, dream, wow. one of my dream cosplays, and they gave it to me for my birthday. It took about a weekend to make. For those playing at home that don't know who you are, who are you cosplaying as today? I'm Rin Hoshizora from Love Live in her Lovewing Bell dress. <laughs> Today in general we've had a lot of fun just you know talking to the crowd, getting photos with people as well. We've done a raffle today as well, all to raise money for Kidney Health Australia at the moment. Um, so yeah, the 500 first, we're a, one of the largest organised costuming groups, 100% of a non-profit organisation. We make and obviously build our own costumes to raise money for different charities. There's, there's about 150 of us here in Queensland and we've just cracked over 10,000 worldwide. So much bigger on the inside. Um, well, my character I'm cosplaying is Zerafim from the Sakizo Artworks. Um, it's just a bunch of regal artworks and I really liked it. Oh, and so did you make this all yourself? Yeah, I made the whole costume myself. It's incredible, it's amazing. <laughs> Found some more awesome cosplays right outside the Berserk stores. I'm cosplaying Ruby Rose from Ruby. I'm my single TV and I created the scythe and also these gauntlets. I am cosplaying Yang Xiaolong from Ruby. So Claire, what an amazing win. You must be over the moon. So excited. It makes it all worth it, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I'm, I'm so happy. I, it was unexpected. Yeah. Um, Are you serious? Unexpected? Yeah. Definitely. I mean, it, when, you, when you look at the sheer amount of talent on oh, stage I there, know, it's amazing. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So tell me, what was your favourite part to put together here? Um, for me, the painting. Yeah, because then it's all done and you get to finish it. And there's something really satisfying about finishing something. Yeah. yeah. Of course. I have to say, my favourite part is all the lights that are in here. So tell me, tell me about the lights. Uh, the lights are LED strips. Um, I've individually programmed um, the lights with using Arduino with cosplayer and electrician. <laughs> yeah, so there's a little, there's like a microprocessor inside my skull on my belt. Um, yeah, so I've programmed all the lights so if we could just like the game. Oh, that's so amazing. Thanks so much, Click. called Lazy Loop. Yeah? yeah. Not too hot in there. <laughs> okay, so I'm a gender vendor Captain America. So I pretty much just put it together with like bits and pieces. Uh, painted the helmet at the very last minute. <laughs> Several deer and a couple of cows. <laughs> so 
Who can you tell us who you are cosplaying as today? Hey, Druid. Hey, it's for any fantasy archetype, but I've one that's gone a little bit more wild. Not the immaculately combed white beard. Wild Druid. Together. Uh, well, I was working on it slowly for about a year, so yeah, it's all completely hand done. Incredible. And I heard something on the stage about how many metres of fabric was used to make this. Probably close to 30 metres. <laughs> I'm Inquisitor Gregor Eisenhorn from Warhammer 40k. So how did you learn how to do that? Um, online tutorials, website. Thank you, YouTube. I feel like I might 